we're going to do a walk up the Hakromata Ranges today and it's in the township of Narawaya, uh, my hometown, born and bred, well, kind of. Um, yeah, we're going to go and see the waterworks, which is the dam area um, where my great granddad, yeah, great granddad, um, helped build and it used to supply the town water supply here in Narawaya which is pretty interesting for me anyway. Um, yeah, so I want to go and see it. Apparently there's the name graved on the dam, but I think it's pretty hard to see now. It's a bit overgrown. Um, we'll see. And then, yeah, carry on up to the tippity top of the Hakramata Ranges. Um, yeah, ooh, just behind you, Brenty. Carry dye back. So we've got to clean our shoes. Hi and welcome to Sporty Adventures. We're just a middle-aged couple that like to get out there and have fun. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what have you found there, dear? <laughs> Bobby knockers. Ready? Hey! My hands are dirty now. Uh-huh. So you're going to climb now the first of the 1,349 steps. 49 steps. I don't know if it starts here or at the base from the waterworks, but we'll see. We just came across this guy with three hunting dogs, or pig dogs, let's call them, and he just caught a wild boar at the top of the Hakamata. It's about three k's out. From, over from the top. It was huge! That's a big thing. <gasps> That's a bit freaky. Wild but, New Zealand. Yeah, wild New Zealand, all right. First time we've actually seen anything like that here, eh? Yep. Some of the old relics from the where the water supply used to go through to the town. So cool. Then get up again. I was right, 1900s. It's a bit hard to read. So that's the slipway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole lot of names under all that moss apparently, but it's pretty old. Whoa, what, over 100 years old now? Yeah. That's impressive. So this is on top of the uh, dam and I'm just going to walk to, there's a little waterfall up here, it's just really cool. Wow. It's, um, it's a nice little family walk to come to, get little kids if you wanted to. Um, but from here we're going to head, well back from up the waterworks area we're going to head left. But if you're coming from the car park it's a hard right. And it takes you up to the top of the Hakamata Ranges. Um, yeah, and that's all steps. It's pretty hearty, so. Up we go. It's a little bit dirty. But there we go. 100. Only a few to go. 200. 300. So the stairs now go into uh, railing on either side. There's a nice little set here. And yeah, we're breathing quite hard because looking ahead of me, it just keeps on going up. 400. How you doing, babes? Oh. <laughs> I'm hot, babes. I've stripped a layer already. Yeah. 500. Oh. Oh, yes. You were right. There's a seat. Halfway. Oh. We missed a couple of numbers because we're up to 700. Wow, really? Yep. Awesome. 
800. Just checking out the greenery. <laughs> Nothing to do with 800 or more steps already. Whew. Um, but I was thinking as I was coming up here, I read on the internet and I can't remember the name of the flower, but there's a definite scent you can smell. And it's in the Hakramata Ranges, apparently there's a plant. It's almost like a, I can't explain it, it's like a sweet green smell. <laughs> I'll uh, try and find it again and put the name in the, in the blog. But yeah, it's, it's amazing, it smells so good. And? Uh-oh. Fred DeVito said, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't chain you. There's all these, let's call them motivational plaques along the way on this boardwalk. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford. Thank you, Henry Ford. <laughs> Give us some juice. <laughs> that was a bit pathetic. <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh. 1,000. And there's a seat here as well. Good, because I'm heavy breathing. 1,100. Oh. Okay. This one says, sweat is just fat crying. And we're doing a little bit of that today, aren't we, dear? I think that's my favorite one. So I far. All of them. So, I'm doing a lot of crying. <laughs> 1,200. What's that one, dear? Oh. Aha! Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Winston Churchill. I just missed this and was sent back to get it. 1300. Certainly is. So that was two k's that we've just done, and this is the summit. Five minutes. So previous videos, we'll pop it in here showing you we've done down that way to um, the One Arrow Road exit. It's pretty cool. It's a really nice hike. But we're going to go to the summit and back down today. Okay. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. So Edmund Hillary, congratulations, you made it. That's so cool. You achieved. Oh, you shortchanged me, dear. Why? One thousand three hundred eighty-seven from the start. But if you came in on Brownlee Ave, you did fourteen hundred and ninety-six. Oh, sweet, we did fourteen ninety-six. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. So as we mentioned earlier, down below, well you can see now, is the Waikato River and the Waipa. Waipa River. And they join up at a bit of land there called the Point. Yep, that's the one. You can see my old high school, the rugby grounds. Wow, massive view, it's pretty cool. I think as a kid I made it up here once, that I can remember anyway, and there was no stairs, it was all scrabble up tree roots, show my age now, tree roots and mud, and there was a part where my brother had to like literally yank me up from my arm up to a point because it was like a massive big cliff, yeah, memories, pretty cool though. Beautiful. Oh, you can see the Huntley power station, the two um, chimneys. Not sure it'll pick it up on. Oh, the, I don't think it'll pick it up. Actually, that's reminded me. We're going to do um, a shot here. We're on the DGI Action Four now. We've just got a new camera, um, but we've got Brent's phone as well. The iPhone 
what is it? 15. iPhone 15. And we're going to see which one actually takes a better photo. Although we're probably going to use the Action 4 most of the time now. Yeah. Because it's just easier, it's smaller. Yeah. And Ooh, the sun's coming out. Yeah. Ooh, but it's windy. <laughs> it's, it's my crying sweat getting cold. It's coming out again. Oof. But it's getting cold. So this is on your iPhone. iPhone. I'm going to see what down the below. Is. Yeah. Quite amazing. Yeah. You can see such a long way. Actually, I thought we would be up in the clouds today in the fog with the rain, but it's actually really mystical, isn't it? It is. It's quite pretty. Blowing a little bit. Whoa. And there's the sun Ooh. behind us, which is really, really nice. Pretty. Okay, we're going to head back down. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I've challenged Brenty to doing 20 press ups at the top of the Hakramadas. Form, Brenty, form. I hope you're counting because I'm not. The camera will be. You can't cheat. <laughs> I could help by sitting on your back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at that. 20. 20. Are you sure? Should we do one more for extra measure? Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're all hard, aren't you? <laughs> you like this challenge. Well done. Ugh. Oh! There you go. I couldn't do it because I'm still having my shoulder being rehabbed. <laughs> you had to do one for me. Thanks, dear. That's okay. You're welcome. <sighs> so pretty up here, though. The sun's just come out and it's so nice. Blue sky. Okay, we're going to make our way back down now. So we just stopped and had a look at a few plants on the way down. We're getting quite sophisticated. But there's a palm there, that looks really cool. That's a silver fern. And the silver fern is here. This is where the um, Waikato River which meets the Waipau River. Um, and the bit of land, the green land in the middle is the point. Keeps going on and on and on. So we're just mentioning that if the stairs weren't here, you imagine the track and trying to clamber up. Trying to clamber up all the muddy roots and or slippery roots and muddy mud. Yeah. It's it was so slippery. And if um, you can see the angle that we're going down, it's pretty cool. Great work. Oh man, this, yeah. This Made a epic. difference. Yeah, it's a few years old now, but um, it's a game changer for the locals people to come yeah. up here. And we're seen today, oh, obviously earlier we saw a hunter. Um, he was way up further and across the other side apparently and got a pig. Um, and we're seeing a family go up just now. Um, so yeah, it's a friendly, guys. a family friendly walk, but there is lots of steps. So take your breaks, have fun, and yeah, take some snacks. See the quotes on the way up, and hey, Brenda, did you bring me a snack? <laughs> yeah, oh. I got you a bar. You hold it out And on carrying me, water as well. <laughs> Pack horse, they call me. Yeah, I found it. Ah. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This is the prettiest part of the trail, I think. It's quite flat and um, yeah, it's just got fernery on both sides. So even if you get out today and just do a gentle walk, you know, this would be ideal. TT has decided to take us on a little bit of an adventure. Woo! 
I don't know where we're going. <laughs> oh, bit slippery, muddy, wet. Oh. You're stuck now, dear, aren't you? No, I'm just looking. Oh. You've got to go across that bit. Yeah. The old punga down there. This was the old track. Oh. Ooh. It's just hanging there. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. Now what we got a river do? crossing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh someone no. that doesn't like getting wet feet. Oh no. It's a bit slippery and a bit muddy. A bit muddery. This isn't the main track, folks. Oh, it might be a bit hard to cross here. Well, it's a rock that you have to step across. Hmm. There you go. It'll be quite slippery. Yep. Moments like these. We need minties? Yeah, well. I'm going to get wet feet. Possible, yes. I'm just going to get wet feet. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, is it warm? Yep. You're lying, aren't you? It's beautiful. Absolutely lying. Oh. It's actually not that cold. Isn't it? Nah. Careful, it's slippery. Woo! <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Actually used to be, I was looking out for a geocache because you can on, you can get an app. Oh, it's been like 10, 12 years that I've done it, but you can do geocaching. And it's heaps of fun, it gets you out and about and you can find things, it's like a treasure hunt. And there was one up here, there used to be a massive big um, fake spider ah. sitting in a tree. Yes. And it, for the first time I said, because you don't know what it is when you're looking for it, it's just a treasure hunt. It yep. could just be a box for something or to sign it or whatever. Mm. And this one, someone had a really good sense of humour when they did it. Because it was a massive big fake black spider and I freaked out when I saw it. I said a few words. Because <laughs> I don't like spiders. I don't like bugs. And I thought I was going to find it so I could show Brenty. But I didn't, so. Maybe it's changed, I don't know. Could still be there. Or it might have floated down the river. <laughs> All right, back on track. So the moral of the story <laughs> was story. <laughs> was TT was trying to find the spider to get me <laughs> and see if I would scream. But I would no. never do that. I'd never do such a thing. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's like the pepper on the <laughs> on the. I uh, made sandwiches for lunch today, and I might have slightly emptied the pepper jar on Brent's <laughs> sandwich by mistake. It Thanks was by mistake. Yeah. And he started sneezing when he started when he bit into a sandwich. It was so funny. Well, I thought it was funny. Yeah. Sneezing and coughing. And what about the pepper tree? Oh yeah, there's a bit of a theme here. Okay, I'm with pepper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, love you, babes. Thanks, babes. You're great. Great at this adventure. Little adventure stuff. Yeah. The pepper tree that was on the timber trail. It was. Timber trail. Oh, that was fun. That was. So we've just finished. Uh, we did it in a couple of hours, which is probably long. Um, generally, it's about, I think, 45 minutes up, 30 minutes down is kind of the average. Some people run it and they can do half an hour and up and 20 minutes down. But hey, you be you. Just getting up there is a huge feat. So, oh, shout out our hats. Um, got yep. them as a surprise gift from friends, so that was pretty cool. Thanks, guys. You know who you are, subscribers, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. I want to be a penguin too. They're cute and fluffy and fat. Oh, mind you, maybe I am one. <laughs> <laughs>